Hi guys, welcome back to my channel KB Techs. Today's our task is to create a photo editor app using Python programming. So before creating or before creating any application, we need to import the modules. Um, after importing the modules, we can just work upon what we want to uh, get it as an output. So as this is a photo editor app, we use Tkinter, which is a graphical user interface, already a standard Python library, uh, which helps us to develop some of the graphical user interface applications in such a way that you can uh, uh, you can pass all of the information that you want to implement in this uh, photo editor app to that take inter module and it works in a systematical way without no errors and it will also lesser your work there will be no distractions of any uh, part of your code there will be no errors in your code but it is a systematic way it is already pre-built uh, python it's already there in Python itself. So it's a standard Python library. There'll be no such kind of uh, destruction or such kind of errors that will be caused by this. Instead, it helps us to um, do this kind of poor, large programs like photo editor app. Uh, to create this app, there may be large codes or thousands of uh, lines that maybe ha have to be written. But, but using this uh, Python standard library take into, it will be easier, much easier for us to build this photo editor app. So for that, we are importing this take into, uh, module then later we are just importing the file dialog module so uh, for the better analyzation of every concept in detail i have created a notes for this concept and let me just read out the few most important things that uh, we can figure it out in uh, take into a file dialog so you may be having what is this take into fi uh, file dialog this is a new word to listen take into is okay fine that's a gui but coming on to take into file dialog it's somewhat different so over here it's nothing that so much difficult to uh, also um we may have done some of the uh, file programs in our childhood like opening a file and closing a file and saving a file same thing happens over here but who is uh, the uh, who is the one who, who mentors this all processes take into so that's the reason he is at he's mentoring that so file dialog is just attached to that so this file dialog has some of the functions like uh let me just show you like you open the file dialog like take into dot file dialog i said you ask for save the file name so for example if you want to save a file that you have created you will save it with a giving for some particular name or else you'll just save it if you have just made some kind of changes then you will open the file then you will um, also provide a directory like path of the file must be very important right you must also give the files uh, path then you must have to close also these kind of uh, small commands will be given using this take into file dialog. It's just for opening and closing of the file. At the same time, it's like used for saving of the file, giving the names of the file in that way. Now you may be having doubt why we are using this file dialog. Uh, let me just go into deeper of the concept that we have written in the code. Uh, so now, as we know that we have imported a required uh, all modules, uh, right? Now we'll go with just what so you're creating a thumbnail. Um, thumbnail means the stamp. It only belongs to that one particular uh, root of the whole take term. So you're giving it name as simple photo editor is the name of your uh, thumbnail. And you will just create the functions. Now, def selected, def blur, def brightness. These are the functions that we are gonna create. Why you're, def, why you're using def selected? Because uh, for any image you want to edit, you must have to first of all choose that image, image file. For example, we are, will be having PNG files or JPG files in our uh, laptops or PCs or any in our download folders. We must have to choose it. Until and unless we choose it, we cannot uh, edit that, right? So to select that, we are using this particular code where you will be giving the image path that is required by using the file dialog, ask open file and its directory. Next, image dot open. Then again, you're using this function of image dot open from the image part that you have already given. Then after that, you're giving the thumbnail. This thumbnail over here is the different one. It depicts a different point over here. Thumbnail is used to give the uh, width and also the depth of the image that you're gonna uh, open. Uh, it is because whatever image you uh, give, sometimes may fit in that uh, particular canvas. Canvas means it's a rectangular shape that you give in your application to take the images only in that particular 
size. So um, to fit in that particular canvas, whatever you have provided for your application, you must have to give some kind of thumbnail so that the image without being lost, uh, image is said and its information should not be lost even if you give the thumbnail. So you'll give the thumbnail, it will be just uh, reduced to some size, okay? In that way, every image will be allowed to, uh, in the canvas only with that particular thumbnail. Then you'll be having the photo of the image is given to the take into and finally, and then you're having canvas, as I mentioned that in canvas, it must be have to fit in the some particular range only, like with the width and depth. In that way, you will also go on with following a uh, blur and uh, function and brightness function, and also the contrast that you want to give that contrast function, rotate image and flip image, image border is also there. If you want to give some kind of border to your image, that can also be implemented. Now, uh, here comes the image one, image three, image five, seven, eight, nine, like numbering. So you may be thinking that why these numbers are given to the particular images because uh, I'll tell you one simple logic that we have here implemented. For image one, um, if you want to blur it, you will import only one image, but to the system to understand it in a very clear way, uh, we need to teach the system with our coding, right? So we are just giving the numbering to that. If it is a, uh, if it is image one part, then you must have to blur it like that. So if it is image two or three part, you must have to brightness, increase the brightness. Think that you're just giving the numbering to those brightness uh, function or contrast function or rotate function. In this way, these all numberings are given to the none right now. It's none when you uh, just uh, uh, like give the file to the canvas, give the image to the canvas, it will be none. Then after you increase the levels of them, I'll show you in a better way when you will see the output. Now, uh, now all is done. You have gave your image in that rectangular box of canvas. And now you want to, you have made the required changes that you want to make like brightness increase or you have reduced the size or you have rotated or you have flipped the image like that. All of the things have been done. Now you want to save the changes that you have made. How are you going to save by using this code? So you are going to save the images like if it is done, uh, like image one is there, let us see why only image one is given particularly because we have taken image one. If you have applied only blur, then it will be saved as, um, yeah, I took the blur and I accepted the blur. So I'm gonna save it as um, the image is in the form of blur and that too it's given a name of image one like that, next. In the same way, you are going to create the labels, scales, and comb boxes. Like, for example, uh, if I'll execute uh, the thing, then you will be getting a more deeper concept. Let me just execute this for you. I am going to create the canvas also. As I said, at last, you must have to, you have taken the canvas directly, but at last, you must have to create the uh, total width of that canvas also, right? Width and breadth and length of the canvas. That's important, right? Yeah. Next again, you will also create the buttons. Let's see why you are creating the button and how are you gonna uh, click when you don't have the buttons. So you must also create the buttons. Uh, now, let me just run it for you. guys after editing this whole code i got the output like this and by selecting the image from my whatever that i have saved the image that is in the png format only so after that i have been checking the options whatever that i have given in the labels and boxes uh, further so i'm checking like if this image can go blur yes it is going it's a well application now i want to just make it however it is and now i want to increase the brightness Look at over there. The brightness of the image has also been increasing with this. And then I want to increase the contrast. One minute. Yeah, I want to increase the contrast of the image that is also increasing along with us. So now uh, you want to rotate the image. Let us see if it rotates 180 degrees. Oh, good. It's rotating. And 270, well, it's also rotating in that way. And 360 degrees, it's again to its original location. And I want to flip it now, top to bottom. 
Yes, it's done. And left to right, yes, it's also done. Um, next, I want to add the border to it. There's a thin border in this image, so it will be difficult uh, to depict it. Now I want to save it. Let us see what I want to save it. This time I want to save it like KB text. Yeah, so that file is saved. Now I'll exit. I'll check whether the given file that the name that I have given, whether it's saved. Yeah, so here it comes. The perfect image has been saved with whatever changes that we have made. That's it, guys. That's it with this uh, small mini project uh, of Python. Thank you.